I'm back, you asshole, and this time, I've come to wreck your shit. Yes, indeed. I've become overprepared this time for your shit, Bahamut. Oh yeah, look at those damages. Oh man, we are just laying it down the smacketh on this Fulio. Bahamut stands no chance this time. As you can clearly see by my HP counts, I have been at work. And you could also tell by the fact that my characters are indeed not any jobs. They're actually in their bear class. So that's one thing you guys should note right away. Um, we're definitely going to be going over what I've been working on in this episode. So strap your hard, hat, hard hats on for some explanations. Or I should say strap your thinking caps on for, your expl for some explanations. But for now... Watch me as I demolish Bahamut and live after he hits me with a Mega Flare. Hell yeah. You can't kill me with Mega Flare, bitch. Yeah, I got so strong that Mega Flare can't even kill me anymore. Now, granted, I didn't expect him to cast it quite yet, so he did almost get me. But I was already too far ahead of that bitch. Victorious, I am. And the last summon in the game is now mine, motherfuckers. You yeah, bitch. Give me my victory music. Do it. Yeah. Receive summon monster? Bahamut! Awesome. Oh, yeah. Anyways, welcome back, everybody, to some Let's Play Final Fantasy V. So, first things first, as you can clearly see by... Uh, well, I'll, I'll show it off a little bit more. I'm, gonna, I'm just trying to wake people up here. Use a little bit of cure. Um, I've been at, I've been hard at work. Let's, I think I deserve, to, or I deserve, you deserve an explanation of what I've been up to right now before I get any further into what I'm doing. So, first things first, I'm going to teleport out of this place and then I'll talk about it. Just trying to get time magic on so I can get the fuck out of here, jeez. Because clearly this time we're going to head to the end zone. That was the last thing left to do before it was time to head to the end zone. So I decided that that was what we would do as soon as I began my episode today. As we would finish off Bahamut and head straight to the end zone. So, like I said, I've been hard at work. As you can see, my characters are all almost level 50. Last time you saw them, they were almost level 40. So everybody's gone up about 10 levels. And if you look at my jobs... There's mastering all over the place. I don't remember what was already mastered when I was in and out of here before, but it wasn't all these things. Anyways, so with Butts and Kryl, I mastered all these jobs along the top. Uh, he didn't quite finish Samurai, but that's okay. And I mastered Sorcerer, and you, already got, you guys already knew about Hunter. I made sure everybody mastered Chemist, and I did Bard and Geomancer because they were short and easy. Um, yeah, and so Reyna is actually... Done with White Mage, Black Mage, almost done with Time Mage and Summoner. And then she's also done with all four of these across the bottom. And Red Mage, you guys already knew about that. And I made everybody get Thief and Monk. Monk has all the HP upgrades and Thief has all the speed upgrades. So I decided everybody should master those two jobs, even my mages. Uh, Cryo, like I said, pretty much mastered all the same things as Butts. Uh, she hasn't mastered Lancer, but she did master Samurai and almost mastered Berserker. Um, and then Ferris, obviously same stuff as Reyna, all mage stuff, got the monk and thief done, and yeah, pretty much the same as Reyna though, but except for the fact that Ferris actually finished time mage and summoner. But anyway, so right now I have everybody as the bear class, and if you didn't already know, that's the only class that equip, can, equi uh, can equip these ribbons. Now if you don't know what the ribbons do, they make you immune to every status effect in the game, so why the hell would not you want that on? So the bear class is the most useful class I got right now. Um, I'll equip, I have three ribbons. I'll clip one more back on in a second when I switch. You know, in fact, I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I'm going to switch switch Raina's thing back to summoner and put what I had back on her. Oh, what did I have on her weapon? I gave her, I think I gave her the sage staff. I have so many weapons now. I should sell like everything. I don't need nothing anymore. Just sell everything I'm not using. And then I'll put that ribbon back on. And I will be getting the fourth ribbon, so all my characters will have a ribbon very soon into the final dungeon. Otherwise, for now, I'm going to walk back over to my black chocobo, back where we left him in the forest. 
obviously I had uh, to do all my leveling and stuff I left and did came back here and did a bunch of stuff yeah it was not my original intention to over level as much as I did but I just want to be done with this game I didn't want to have too much struggles with the final dungeon because basically the final dungeon is what I would easily call a massive boss gauntlet like even more so than Final Fantasy IV was where in the last dungeon where you actually go through it and kind of get all the legendary weapons and each one you have to fight a boss to get it well this time around it's just a bunch of bosses and you don't get shit for doing it you just have to fight a bunch of bosses just because the game says here here's another boss fight it here's another boss fight it here's another boss fight it so yeah I didn't want to have to like fight each boss hoping I would win going man I'm not leveled up high enough and there's also the two hardest bosses that are both optional in the final dungeon and I want to be able to beat them both, both without having to do any more leveling so to prepare to prepare myself officially to do everything I want to do in this game I had to do the leveling that I did oh and another thing I should mention you remember the chicken knife how I said it gets the most it gets the strongest once you have run away from I think it's 255 battles well I finished doing that as well so the chicken knife is now my strongest weapon and Oh, uh, where are we going? Oh, I guess we're going to head to the end zone. Now, a few episodes ago, I actually accidentally went to the end zone. The only way to actually get in there, I know there's a bunch of void holes, but the only one that will actually take you there is the one that is the void that was where Tycoon Castle was, which is just south of here, I believe. Right here. This void right here. I believe this is it. I'm just trying to think if there's one, any last things I want to do before I go in, because I'm... I, once I go in, I'm not coming back out. I might not finish this. It's obviously not going to be one more episode because this final dungeon is one long bitch. But once we go in, I'm not coming back out. I already went and stocked up on items. I got all the equipment I'm going to need. Accessories and whatnot. So I think I'm just going to go in and say hello to the end zone. Officially this time, not on accident. Because last time was just oopsies. A little poopsies, you know. We don't need a lot of that. Won't need a lot of that. So, I pretty much got to this point before, and you, if you saw the cutscene, all they did was go, all right, into the end zone we go. They don't really, that's all the cutscene really is. So as you can see, we're kind of stranded here in what looks like an ocean. It's, wow, it's the freaking sands of time here. What are we supposed to do? And of course, I took two steps and I freaking fight in a battle. The hell is it gonna be? Oh Lord, Santa Peelers. Earthquake? No, don't. Oh, Earthquake is not a fun move. Oh, man. Should I be putting Float on? Damn. Those bitches are just going to do that move all day. That's going to be annoying. Maybe I should point out what weapons everybody has right now, too. Since everybody has the bear class, um, all the inherent abilities of each job that I've mastered, the bear class has them. So I don't have to put things on like two swords or two-handed sword or uh, dash uh, anti-trap, stuff that's like inherent abilities that aren't, uh, battle abilities. They're inherent to the bear class if you have mastered the job they come from. So, that being said, Butts has dual, you know, two weapons and so does Kryl because they both mastered the ninja class. Uh, so Butts has the, oh, and if you're a bear class, you can also equip any, oh shit, you can't go that way. Oh, I see. There's actually a path here. I didn't even notice. Okay, another... Oh. Obviously, I've fought this enemy before. This is one of the enemies I actually fought out in the desert. Uh, over by Bahamut's Castle. Or Bahamut... Bahamut's Castle? Phoenix Tower, I mean. But, um... Let me finish what I was saying. Butts has two weapons. He has the Excalibur in one hand and the Chicken Knife in the other. Because the Chicken Knife's the strongest weapon now. Um, and Kryl has the Holy Lance in one hand, and I believe the Masa Moon in the other. I think that's right. And since Ferris and Rain are my mages, even though I have all these awesome fighting weapons, I gave Reyna the Sage Staff because I believe that boosts magical or he boost healing, I believe it does. I think that's what it does. And, um, Ferris has the Mages Rod, which is to be expected because that just makes you kick ass with magic. It kicks, makes your black magic spells just kick complete and utter ass. Oh, I didn't... Oh, man. We really are in the sands of time all over again, aren't we? Let's go this way? I'm not even sure right now. Now, so far, I'm sure the end zone isn't quite what you were expecting, based on just the fact that when you see it, it's just like a big, open, gaping, space-looking void. 
I mean, basically, it's just a black hole that leads, or looks like it leads, to the center of the the, the depths of the Earth. All right, I think we finally made it to where we want to be, a door in the middle of the water, which makes a lot of sense. We monsters have been sealed in this end zone for 1,000 years. Whoa, that's a lot of monsters. Told you it was going to be a boss gauntlet, and look how many monsters we got to deal with still. Once x depth obtains the void, our new world will emerge, one of darkness. Oof. So, foreshadowing. Your interfering is over. Today, by the power of darkness, you die. In the end zone. Ha 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 ha! Uh-oh. Well, there's your foreshadowing. So, dare we go down the chain into the further depths of hell? Let's do this. Jump on the chain, and down we go. Further into the depths of hell. And now it looks like we're inside of... What is that place? It looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks like we're in uh, the airship hangar. And now we're fighting another new enemy called an Aquas. Aquas. Aquas? That's a terrible translation of a name. How are you supposed to pronounce that? Aquaus? Aquaus? Reminds me of the name of one of the... One of the, um... What's it called? One of the Colossi from Shadow of the Colossus. The, just the name of him. He's obviously not the same name as one of them, but he has... I don't know, just the way it's spelled is similar. Reminds me of like Gaius or Quadratus or some name like that, which are... Those two names I just said are actually Colossi from Shadow of the Colossus. And we got a couple more new enemies here. We got a grenade, which is the bomb sprite change, and the Death Dealer, which is the little imp thing in the middle. Yeah, this is basically how most battles are going to go here, so we're probably not going to see a whole lot. I'm just going to rape the shit out of everything with my S-Shot ability, and it's just going to be just complete and utter rape. See, like, my HP is low, and I don't even care because the battle's over before it begins. So there's going to be a lot of this happening. I'll just show all the new enemies here, and that's all you're going to need to see in this place until I hit the boss battles. Otherwise, there's just going to be, you know, a few treasures. There are quite a bit of treasures in this entire dungeon, but this entire dungeon is pretty damn long. And most of the treasures are pretty straightforward. You don't have to go out of your way to get them. Now, most of the treasures in this dungeon are actually pointless to me at this point. I say most, but there's going to be a few useful ones. Just a few. I mean, one of which is actually the last ribbon, which I've already said we're going to find in this dungeon. Um, items like elixir are obviously going to be useful to us still. And there will be others. What I mostly meant is that most of the equipment I'm going to find in this dungeon will be pretty useful. That are useless to me at this point, except for the ribbon. So we'll just have to be happy that we don't really need anything else. We're just, we're just happy to be here. Almost done with the game. Indeed, we are. Let's just keep on riding the chain. Come on, ride it. Come on, ride the chain. Chain, come on, ride it. Come on, ride that chain, chain. Yeah, we're fighting. Yeah, we're fighting new enemy here. This one's called a Cyclo Skull. Uh, it's another sprite change of some other monster I fought earlier in the game that I don't remember what the hell it's called. Very strange looking enemy, I know. It's kind of a... I don't even know how to describe it, honestly. It just looks like some weird machine looking thing. I don't even know what else to call it, to be honest. Circular looking machine thingy. It looks kind of like a Dreamcatcher, actually, now that I think about it. We'll just call it the Dreamcatcher enemy, then. That sounds good enough to me. It's good enough to me. East good enough to me. Now, you might be thinking, well, why aren't you uh, using a jobs in this place so you could get more ability points? Because the enemies in this dungeon actually spit out ability points like nobody's business. But the thing is, I already pretty much mastered all the jobs I want to master with the with every character you know that I'm working on. Now, if I really wanted to, I could master all the jobs here in this dungeon pretty easily, just walking around here, leveling up for a while, and I'll master all the jobs. But the, the point of that would be if I just want to see stars over every job. There's really no benefit overall in the game to mastering all the jobs, other than just saying you mastered all the jobs. Basically, personal gain. Personal satisfaction. That's all it. That's all it brings you. It doesn't give you anything else. So, if you want to master everything when you play this game, more power to you. I believe. I'm trying to think if that's what I did when I last played this game. 
I don't think I mastered everything. But I know I did a lot. I made sure I mastered everything I wanted to master. I know that for a fact. But I don't think I mastered every single job with every single person. Especially since that mime class that I got, I think, last... No, two episodes ago now? Well, maybe it was last episode. Eh, maybe it was last episode. Anyway, the mime class, which I actually have failed to show. Well, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is... Since this, this last dungeon is going to be split into a bunch of parts anyways... Well, I say a bunch. It's probably going to be like four parts, maybe, this final dungeon and the ending, maybe. I, 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 that's conservative estimate. That's not even... That's not a for sure thing at all. But the point is that this final dungeon is going to take a while, so maybe I'll take the t opportunity to show off the mime class while I'm here. Because it's actually really useful. I'm liking that a lot of the enemies here actually drop elixirs. It's actually really useful. Into the door we go... And we go to the right side, and then we get the ooh, blood sword. Cool. Cool. I know we already have a blood sword from earlier in the game, but, I mean, the blood sword is actually a really useful weapon if you... If it's, it's really useful when you don't have a means to heal yourself and you're not fighting undead enemies. Oh, look where we are. Remember this door, guys? This door that I always wondered where the hell it goes? Huh. It actually was part of the end zone, eh? Now, I believe if we go upstairs... Oh, I see. The town's actually frozen. So, yeah, we'll grab our... The healing pot still works. We're glad... I'm glad that's not frozen. And you know what? I don't think... I don't think we want to go out there. I think we actually do want to go to the outside area where the black chocobo was. I think that's where we want to go. I'm pretty sure, at least. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but... Or, no, no, you know what? Maybe we're just supposed to go outside the town, now that I think about it. So the whole thing about the end zone is that it's basically comprised of everything that's in the been sucked into the void. So, I don't know. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. Like that area we just went through before we got here was, it looked like that underground hangar area that was under underneath Crescent Town. And Crescent Town kind of looked like it got swallowed up, except for it didn't. I don't know, it's hard to describe, really. Anyway, so now we're in more forest, or at least a place that looks like more forest. I won't say we're in more forest. Everything just kind of looks like something that you would see and that exists areas you've already been to. Whatever. And, of course, there's enemies here, too, which are probably new. Yes, they are. I was wondering if they were going to be for sure. So we got some white flames and a moss fungus. I, I give you 10 guesses which one's which. Alright, 10's probably too many. And apparently they are absorbing my holy damage. And right now I'm adjusting my mic, or not my mic, but my headset. Because for some reason, only one earphone in my headset is working right now, and it's kind of annoying. I would like to be able to hear in both ears, please. My left ear is not special. Please. Alright, well, screw you then, headphones. As for these magical bastards, if I... wait. So, if I attack with one, yeah, and then it heals with the other, that's so pointless. So pointless. Um, alright, stop attacking. It's, it's very redundant, because Kryl has the Holy Lance, <laughs> and Butts has the Excalibur, so they both have Holy Attacks. That's very annoying. Crap, okay. Crap, this is not good. I need to, damn it, I need to switch somebody's weapons so there's no holy weapons on at least one of my characters. I can't have them both be holy. Ugh, that's so annoying. Miss, damn it. Wait, did I use S-Shot? Okay, well at least, <laughs> well at least with S-Shot, the other weapon is doing more damage, so overall I'm actually doing damage and not healing. Oh god. Heal as much as you- why don't you heal as much as you attack? Because that makes a lot of sense. Oh my god. I did not expect this to be a thing. And it probably won't be overall, but obviously it is for this battle. How annoying. Thank you. Go away, White Flame. Alright, now I'm gonna switch- I'm gonna switch Kryl's, one of her weapons. I don't want to switch Butts, because Butts needs the two strongest weapons. He just does. So I'm probably going to switch the Holy Lance to something else. But before I do that, let's grab this chest, which is a Dragon Fang. Dragon Fang! Let's play some Tales of Symphonia. Alright, so let's switch 
Trials, Holy Lance to... Hmm, Defender? Defender only makes me go down 10. Anything better than that? Sasuke is basically the same, but my speed is faster. So let's go with that. Or, what's our other choice? What other choices do we have? Assassin, that one's lower. Razor Ring, that one's lower. Rune Axe, lower. Yeah, pretty much everything else is lower, so I think I think we're good with... Yeah, I think we'll just go with the Sasuke. Sasuke gives me speed and the same amount of power as having the Defender. Good enough. Good enough. Alright, so let's keep on heading true this fast. See if we can find our way out this bitch.